for head. Gamers, good morning, FGC. Today is May the 11th. I uh, was not going to do a video today. I uh, went and got, got my shot, so I'm all vaxxed out. I'm trying to get that arm. It's kinda, kinda stings a little bit. It doesn't sting, it doesn't like hurt, but if like it feels like you worked out or something like that afterwards. So it's a little, it's a little sore. Sore, that's what it is, a little bit sore. But as you can see, I'm fine. I'm not turning into a mutant or anything like that. So like I said, wasn't going to do a video today, but then uh, Power Rangers, they dropped uh, Battle for the Grid, the Chung Lee trailer. So Chung Lee trailer ranger is out. Gotta see that. I've been bugging ever since I've seen the Ree Ranger. And then Suda51 released the No More Heroes 3 trailer. So I'm like, well, I guess we're doing a video. So let's get into the Power Rangers right now. So we got the... Um, Power Rangers, uh, Chung Lee Ranger, I want to say is the, is the name of it, but I'm not really sure. I haven't watched any of it, uh, but I was spoiled slightly. I heard that we get to see her alternate costume. So here we go. Chung Lee, Power Rangers Battle for the Grid. Let's go. I might get a little hyped on this one. The Blue Phoenix Ranger. Oh, she's got cross-ups. She's got a roll of cross-ups. Oh, what? Let's get it. She has a kick at the end of her spinning bird kick. That's OTG. Yep. Uh-huh. Down, down, down. Oh, you thought you were coming in for free? You're going to get these lightning legs. Okay, so lightning legs are special. And we get an alternate costume. Shang Lee Angel Grove Class of 93. That fit. Get done. Okay, was that? Oh! The stuff was the OTG! It's morphin' time! You get the slap slap! The slap slap! What? Yo, she done took you from white corners to left corner. Oh, she gets her Street Fighter 5 nonsense? And that's how oh, you get you but definitely can combo from there. <laughs> ah, it's so cute! Alright, so uh, admittedly I'm not as hyped for this trailer as I am for the real one, but we're gonna go back through it. So there was a lot of cool stuff. Uh, so we got Power Rangers Battle Grid. We got the Chung Lee Ranger gameplay. The tag in, who else? Of course you're gonna pick Chung Lee Ranger. That's gonna be the team, right? So we automatically get confirmation. If you don't know, if you don't play Power Rangers Battle for the Grid, uh, a lot of the throws and back throws have combo potential after you get the throw. So the throw is not just a knockdown, hard knockdown, reset neutral. It's actually a combo starter. So we see right here with Chung Lee. <laughs> Yo! The end of her back throw is a wall bounce. We lit. Let's go. Let's go. Chung Lee, Blue Phoenix Ranger, enters the grid. Let's get it. All right, so big pressure, uh, just like in uh, Marvel's Capcom. Uh, she has her, uh, uh, well, that string would have been like 1-1, one, one, and then she has a quick little jump. I'm not sure it was a dash. I don't think it was a dash. I think it was a just jump up lightning legs. Yep, light, jump up lightning legs, and she gets a roll. Hold on. Let's see what that roll actually was. So lightning legs. Okay, so her overhead. So that was so that wasn't a roll. That was her overhead. Her overhead, if she's too close to the opponent, will 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 switch sides. I wonder if that's punishable. Then she gets the grab. Yo! So her forward grab and her back grab have combo potential. If you didn't see it, her forward grab pops them up in the air. And uh, any kind of hang time in this game equals combo. So check it out. Forward grab. So probably from a photograph, she could do this. Lightning legs. So I don't know if this is a separate move after lightning legs, or this is just something she could do on top of lightning legs in the air. But she does lightning legs into a overhead ground bounce. Uh, this is, that's ridiculous. Okay, so there is no um, charge mechanics in this game. Everything is um, 
forward, forward special, back special. So as soon as she lands, she hit uh, what looked like heavy into forward special and gave, gave you a spinning bird kick. So apparently spinning bird kick has a wall bounce kick at the end of it. That's so lit. Chun-Li should have that in all the games. I, it was the same because you can see and when she did it twice, it did a knockdown instead of a wall bounce. So she still has a slide and gets over, under projectiles. Overhead. Okay, so. All right, I think uh, that was her super, but if she doesn't get, she, she if she doesn't get the uh, full animation, it does less damage in the combos, I guess. This is so lit, right? Her, her, her Angel Grove class of 93. So EXs go through moves. Uh-huh, bam, bam. All right, let's see that fireball one more time. Her fireball, her fireball in combo is a is a crush a restand basically it's a crumble restand her fireball in combo state that's it right there she might have a dash nope no dash her fireball is a crumble state restand she's got stump and stump Her stump can act as an OTG. She's better in this game than in NBC Ultimate. She just is. All right, so uh, there you have it. I'm hyped, man. I know a lot of um, a lot of Power Ranger fans were a little bit mad uh, because they wanted more Power Rangers in the game. Uh, than the uh, Chung Li and Ryu, uh, but there will be um, um, more Power Rangers upcoming. The Street Fighter pack is just that, the Street Fighter pack. I would be happier if we got, you know, maybe a Cammy or a Gal in there too, because they always do three characters in the pack. So, um, and I know in the, uh, um, not Battle for the Grid, but the, uh, the the mobile version of the game, there was Cammy, Guile, and one more character in it. So we, I wish we had three. Uh, 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 Street Fighter players, Street Fighter crossover players, just so we can like round it out. But um, May 25th, we would definitely be playing some Ryu and Chun Li Ranger, and uh, that's the same weekend. No, no. So June 11th is Guilty Gear Strive. So this weekend coming, we're playing Guilty Gear Strive. Me and Shadow Show 88, and the week after that, uh, we'll be playing some Power Rangers. Man, I'm so freaking excited. Uh, that's uh, that's mm -mm. once again. And if you haven't tried. Uh, Power Rangers Battle for the Grid out. It is, it's, it's, okay, it's the best parts of uh, Street Fighter versus uh, Marvel. I mean, well, uh, well, it's the best parts of Marvel's Capcom 2, Marvel Infinite, the gameplay aspects of it, mashed in with uh, 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 the best aspects of um, Dragon Ball. Because um, there, are, uh, there aren't any motion specials. They're just command normals and command specials in the game. But... Don't let that, it's, try the game. Uh, it's, free on, it's free on Game Pass. Just try it. If you're a fan of NBC, you'll like it. And also for today, uh, like I said, of course, when you're not going to film, stuff happens. A game I've been looking for it for a long time. Probably with the only game besides Smash Bros. I played on the original Wii and the Wii U. Uh, no More Heroes made by uh, Suda, Suda51 Games. He's the guy who brought us uh, 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 um, uh, everybody's favorite game. Probably one of the most favorite games ever, Resident Evil 4 with Leon Kennedy. Of course, No More Heroes uh, 1 and 2. Uh, we got um, 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 Shadows of the Dam, uh, uh, Ch Chainsaw, Cheerleader. I forget what that name is, but that. Uh, so you see what kind of games he makes. Uh, I, uh, it, it's almost a platinum game. There's so much nonsensical stuff going in it, but I love every part of these games. 
uh, and the trailer dropped today. Uh, this game is long awaited. We didn't think it existed for a very long time, but it does. And uh, we're checking out the trailer. It's coming out for the Switch. I'm excited, super hype. Let's run the video. <laughs> Was today the 4th of July? If not, is the Empire striking back or what? Looks like things are gonna get weird today. So we saw a little bit of this in the E3 trailer. This is basically an E3 trailer. Who are they? Hey, can I ask you something? Are you guys aliens? I don't think they're here to talk, Master. Oh shit, this looks like fun. Let me play. <laughs> you know how to take these guys down? Beat them to fucking death. Strategy is born from battle. I'll take the one in the middle. Do whatever you want with the rest. Let me have some fun, fucking losers. Let's go. Start the game. What? What? What is this? What is this? Hey gamers, limit your gaming to 10 hours per day. Any more, <laughs> and you're seriously gonna die. Hope everyone's doing good today. Your good old girl next door, Sylvia, is going to introduce another new game today. Oh man. Today's title is No More Heroes 3. He's such, yo, Suda is such a fourth wall breaking, like, you don't know the prequels, so you're not interested? Wait, wait, wait. You can totally pick it up from three. Watch this little show for all you need to know about No More Heroes. A courier who spends his day spanking the monkey scores a bean katana in an online So the cool thing about this game was that he used the Wii controllers an back in the day. He's got a real knack for battle. And, and this is one of the, the games that uses the best the actually. Assassin's Association. He then goes on to challenge and subsequently defeat. So there was a lot of this going on. Eventually reaching the Of course the Switch doesn't have that, so you won't have to do that. For some weird reason, in the sequel, No More Heroes 2, he's dropped down to number 51 in the rankings, fights his way back up to the number one spot, and finally reclaims his title. He then hooks up with the woman he loves. This game makes no sense. None. Then, the Stravis Strikes Again, released in 2019. This was a spin-off with new adventures for Travis. Every game is a spin-off. There's no cohesive story, really. The video game world. Travis has to fight video game characters, and he meets people that are like him. It's the kind of experimental game that'll get bombed over in 10 years. Check it out. <laughs> <laughs> Suda. <laughs> Look at Suda right there, yeah. Koichi Suda. The, uh, he's the, um, person that's the live stream. The hero in the middle of the action is Travis Touchdown, the legendary assassin who has twice claimed the number one spot in the assassin rankings. Let me introduce you to the girls fighting with Travis. Shinobu Jacobs, who, after having her arm severed in a battle with Travis, arbitrarily decided to become his pupil and now thinks of him as her master. This crazy broad over here is Bad Girl, a full-on psycho killer who beats people to death with her bat. Bad Girl. Travis once killed her, ah. but she was apparently brought back by some weird game console or whatever. Just <laughs> or whatever. And you'll pick up on all the rest. Basically. Yeah, you basically didn't have to play any of the games to know what's going on. It doesn't really matter. It's crazy video game nonsense. It's like, it's fun. It'll be fun. In the new No More Heroes 3, what was once a fight between assassins is now a battle to the death on a galactic scale. Of course a it is. Between a legendary you gotta keep building it up, right? And a mysterious alien army. Even if you haven't played the prequels, it's awesome. But it's even more awesome if you play the prequels first. 
gamers have but one goal. To take down the opponent in front of you. Hurry up and grab the controller. The game has already started. Ready? You know what to do, right? No. Just destroy all those nasty aliens. <clears throat> they are right before your eyes. I can feel the bloodlust raging. You have no idea what you're thinking. You need to pump up that energy. Eat out the popcorn and chips. Pump up the energy. Drink a whole shitload of soda. So your controller is covered in grease. Why is he a mech? Who knows? You gotta kill, kill, and then kill some more. Oh, kill a kill. That's another game you made. You are dead. Got it? Now, fight. Welcome to the Garden of Slaughter. That's No More Heroes 3, everybody. All right, that was exact. You know, sometimes you, 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 you look, you're waiting for a game, and you know, you, you get the game, and, you, and it's not. It's something like Suda 51 makes the games that you know exactly what they are. They're super overhyped, over sexualized, uh, fart jokes. Great controls, though. Uh, you know, and he, the guy who was a producer over freaking Resident Evil 4, who he basically made over the shoulder uh, uh, shooting a thing. But um, the game's dumb, nonsensical, doesn't make. It's a old school video game in the sense that it's just, it's just a fun game. Um, all right, so between that and uh, uh, Power Rangers, we got a pretty packed end of May. Uh, so that's I'm, I'm pretty sure we'll get more of that during E3 in June. Uh, so we got this weekend coming. Uh, we'll be uh, running the Guilty Gift Strive beta starting on Thursday. So stay tuned for that. And then uh, next week we'll be playing some Power Rangers because Ryu and Chung live here. So uh, we lit, man. Uh, be good. Be safe. Keep playing games. And uh, we'll holla at y'all tomorrow. Peace.